I'm Marion Farr. I consider myself to have had a successful career. I've led big departments, I've worked in central governments, I've worked directly with ministers, I've worked with senior people, I've managed teams of 150, 200, 300. But I still got ill. I became depressed. These kind of things don't happen to people like me. Confident, educated, happy people don't get depressed. But actually I did. And mindfulness changed my life. It helped me deal with an illness. It helped me discover things about myself that I didn't know. An inner strength, not an outer strength, not something that came from education or standing or job. It's something that came from inside. I learned that I, everybody, I had a huge amount of resources that I didn't know I had, that I could draw on, and that once I had accessed those resources, I was a much stronger human being, a much better human being, if, I, if I'm allowed to judge myself, a more caring, a more compassionate human being. Better than that, I had much more awareness and greater understanding about not just my own suffering, but other people's suffering. I think I'm a nicer person as a result of mindfulness. As a result of my learning, I learned to teach and I have spent the last seven years of my life sharing the benefits of mindfulness with people at work, with people in education, with my friends, my family, everybody I can reach. So my message to you is that if you are a human being, whether you're a mother or a father or a son or a daughter, a teacher, a learner, Whatever you do in your life, mindfulness can add. It can add to your life, it can help you grow, it can help you develop, and it need not take loads of time. You understand that exercising your body will make you stronger. Mindfulness helps you exercise your mind, that makes you a stronger human being. Um, and I would urge you to just try it. Look at the difference it can make. There is tons of evidence. This is not mumbo jumbo. It's not hocus pocus. There is a huge amount of neuroscientific evidence, uh, evidence in the classroom, in the health service, uh, that says that this is not just about some kind of fad. It's not a fantasy. It is real. If you practice, if you exercise your mind, you get all the benefits that you get if you exercise your body. And you're a whole human being. You're not just this, you're also this, you're also this, and you're also this. Try it. Doesn't work for everybody, doesn't work all the time. It worked for me and it can work for you.